though with the search for those missing kids today the father of little Kayla Hunter is begging for help in finding both children. Let's go live now to Detroit's West Side and 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich. Julie. Joanne, we can only imagine what he's going through. We were over at his house earlier this morning, talked with the family a little bit. He's distraught. He wants his kids found. And we're back here on Penrod where police were searching last night. We have not seen them today. But again, that father asking for your help. While posters of his missing daughter, six year old Kayla Hunter, and her half brother, eight month old Christian Justice, are taped to light poles on the same street where their mother's body was found, Kayla's father, Kevin Hunter, who started the search for the mother and kids, released this statement to Seven Action News this morning. I am still hopeful of my daughter along with her brother's return. Each day my baby girl's not here, a piece of my heart is ripped away. My only want right now is that she and her brother are found. I am asking for anyone who knows any information to please contact the Detroit Police Department so that these two innocent children can be returned. The two kids have been missing since at least Monday when 26-year-old Alicia Fox's uncle found her body in a home on Penrod Street after an anonymous phone call. The medical examiner tells 7 Action News Fox was shot multiple times, including twice in the head. Her mother and cousin identified her through her tattoos because her body was so badly decomposed. And last night, police and family members searched three specific locations for the children and finished for the evening back on Penrod, looking in and out of homes with a canine unit. While they were searching, the FBI in Georgia brought Fox's husband in for questioning and then released him. Fox's family wonders why he's in Georgia, but the police say the husband and father of the eight-month-old is being cooperative. And you can see one of those missing posters on a telephone pole behind me. I spoke with Alicia's family, and they say they will be out this afternoon and evening searching for her and searching for her kids and putting up more of the posters. We're live from Detroit. Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. Thank you, Julie, very much. We'll update people later today on Action News at 5. Meantime